the most insane machines on Earth power beyond limits. Engines roar, sparks fly, the Earth shakes. Welcome back to the edge of human possibility. These are not ordinary machines. These are monsters, colossal creations forged from steel, fire, and human willpower. Every bolt, every piston, every roaring engine was built for one purpose, to go beyond limits. You can feel the vibration in your chest as turbines spin faster than the eye can follow. Massive cranes lift entire buildings as if gravity were just a suggestion. Jet engines scream like thunder trapped inside metal. And somewhere deep underground, a tunnel-boring machine chews through solid rock, steady, relentless, unstoppable. The world runs on machines like these, titans of technology that make the impossible possible. They dig, lift, carve, crush, forge, and fly. They move oceans, reshape landscapes, and turn human imagination into physical reality. But what makes them truly insane isn't just their size or strength, it's their precision. Because every movement, every motion, is guided by mathematics, physics, and the mastery of those who dared to build them. Think about it. Hundreds of tons of steel moving in harmony, driven by code, sensors, and human control. The margin for error? Almost zero. One wrong signal, one faulty bolt, and the force unleashed could tear itself apart. Yet they work, day and night, without hesitation. That's not chaos, that's craftsmanship. That's courage turned into machinery. So before we dive into the next chapter of the world's most mind-blowing machines, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because this isn't just a list of machines, it's a look into the heart of human ambition, the fire that refuses to stop pushing forward no matter how loud the engines get. These are the machines that define our age. They don't just work, they perform. And as you're about to see, their power knows no limits. Power isn't about noise, it's about control. Every machine you're about to see, from the roaring excavators to the sky-piercing rockets, carries one message. We've learned to command chaos. Take the Liebherr T-284 mining truck, a behemoth rolling across open pits, hauling 400 tons of earth like it's nothing. Its diesel-electric engine delivers almost 4,000 horsepower, yet it moves with a calm grace that defies its size. Sensors guide its every step, hydraulics absorb the stream, and computers calculate traction a thousand times per second. It's not brute strength, it's precision power. Then there's the Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine, a giant worm of steel carving cities beneath our feet. Hundreds of feet long, weighing thousands of tons, it doesn't smash rock, it shapes it. With rotating cutter heads and robotic accuracy, it digs, stabilizes, and lines tunnels as it moves. A symphony of engineering so perfect, it feels alive. Or look to the sky. The Antonov An-285 Maria, humanity's largest aircraft, once carried cargo heavier than tanks, spanning the sky like a flying continent. Every rivet, every flap, Every scream of its six engines was a reminder of what happens when imagination refuses to bow to gravity. These machines don't just exist to move or build. They represent something. Each one is a statement carved in metal, proof that human beings can take the impossible, measure it, and make it real. When you watch a mechanical arm weld at lightning speed or a robotic press form flawless steel panels, you're witnessing art through arithmetic. And that's what makes it so satisfying, the order within the chaos. Because every calculation, every movement, every rotation is a dialogue between man and machine, between instinct and intelligence. Machines like these remind us that power without control is destruction. But power with control, that's creation. It's how we dig deeper, fly higher, build faster, and live better. The 
they embody the idea that strength isn't just about what a machine can withstand, but how precisely it can perform. Because true power isn't about breaking limits, it's about redefining them. So when you watch these insane machines move, the cranes, the diggers, the engines, the presses, remember, you're not just seeing mechanical strength, you're seeing human logic transformed into motion. This is the beauty of engineering. It turns steel into symphony, gravity into dance, chaos into progress. And that, that is what makes these machines truly beyond limits. Behind every machine that shakes the earth, there's a person, a dreamer, a designer, a builder. Before the gears turn, before the engines scream, before the turbines spin, there's always someone staring at a blank page and asking the most dangerous question in engineering. What if we could make it bigger? Every insane machine ever built began as an idea no one believed in. The world's largest excavators, the most powerful rockets, the fastest engines, all of them were born from sleepless nights, sketchbooks full of impossible shapes, and minds that refused to quit. Because the truth is, machines are only as powerful as the people who dare to imagine them. Think about the engineers working deep underground, surrounded by the sound of drills and compressors, fine-tuning the sensors that guide a tunnel-boring machine the size of a cathedral. Or the mechanics who climb into the belly of a 4,000-horsepower engine, tightening bolts under heat and pressure that could melt steel. Or the software developers sitting in quiet rooms, writing the code that keeps million-ton cranes perfectly balanced in the wind. These aren't just jobs, they're acts of faith. Every blueprint is a gamble. Every design is a promise that when the power is switched on, the machine will obey. And when it does, when steel bends to human will, something electric happens. You can feel it. The spark of pride, the pulse of creation, the silent satisfaction of seeing the impossible move. We call them operators, mechanics, technicians, engineers, but in truth, they are artists. Their canvas is metal, their brush strokes are precision, their music, the hum of engines in harmony. What drives them isn't just the pursuit of progress, it's the pursuit of perfection. The idea that humanity can always go one step further, faster, stronger, smarter. Because deep down, every builder, every designer, every engineer shares the same DNA, an unshakable belief that the world can always be built better. And that belief is the real engine behind every machine. When a crane lifts, when a turbine spins, when a robotic arm welds with flawless accuracy, it's not the metal doing the miracle, it's the mind behind it. So as we marvel at these insane machines, remember this, they don't exist in isolation. They're monuments to human persistence. Every spark, every bolt, every roar, a tribute to the hands and hearts that refuse to stop building. Machines don't dream, people do. And that's why these machines, the loudest, largest, most powerful creations on Earth, are really stories of us. Listen, can you hear that? The deep mechanical heartbeat of progress. Engines pounding like war drums, hydraulics hissing, steel bending but never breaking. This isn't chaos, this is orchestration. From the surface of mines to the edge of orbit, machines roar with purpose. A blast furnace glows like a newborn star. A rocket engine ignites, ripping through the silence of dawn. An offshore platform hums in the middle of an ocean, its drills descending mile after mile into the earth. Each sound, each tremor, each vibration is human ambition made real. And here's the truth. The further we push the limits of engineering, the more we reveal about ourselves. Because building machines this powerful isn't just about industry, it's about identity. It's about our refusal to stop dreaming, even when the sky itself pushes back. Stand beside a crawler crane as it lifts a bridge span heavier than a blue whale. Stand beneath the launch pad as the countdown begins, 10, 9, 
eight, the ground trembling beneath your boots. In those moments, you understand. This is not just power. This is precision wrapped in courage. Every bolt that holds, every engine that fires, every rotation of a turbine, it's proof that we've learned to turn imagination into momentum. We've built not just machines, but monuments to discipline, to risk, to the relentless pursuit of perfection. But the real beauty lies in what happens next. Because once the machine runs, it doesn't stop at efficiency. It inspires. Some kid watching sparks fly in a factory tonight will dream of building something even bigger. Some engineer running diagnostics at 3 a.m. will find a way to make it faster, safer, smarter. That's how progress works. One idea feeding the next, one creation lighting the fuse for another. Power is nothing without direction. Steel is nothing without purpose. And technology is nothing without the humans who breathe meaning into it. So when you watch these titans move, the diggers, the haulers, the rockets, the robots, don't just see machines, see potential. See the proof that progress isn't accidental, it's engineered. So hit like, subscribe, and share this with every builder, every maker, every dreamer who still believes that power should have purpose. Because machines can show us strength, but only people can give that strength direction. And when the engine's quiet, when the sparks fade, when the dust finally settles, one truth still echoes louder than the roar of any machine. Machines don't build the future, people do.